Um, I see some folks joining in. We're going to give it a couple of seconds for folks to come on in, and then we're going to get started. Let me go ahead and share my screen here with y'all. Welcome today. All right. Um, well, welcome everyone to today's HLAA showcase webinar, CapTel 2400i Dialing by Picture. Thank you for joining us today. My name is Melissa Cruz and I'm with HLLA and I'm your host today. Today's presentation is being recorded and it will be available for playback at a later time at the HL website at hearingloss.org. Right. Um, to uh, see captions on this webinar, you need to click on the CC icon and click on show, show subtitles. Um, you can change the font size in the subtitle setting. The chat feature is available only for technical issues and panels only. We'd like participants to use the Q&A icon to ask any questions. We'll, we, we'll be using this to facilitate um, questions and answers after the presentation. Um, if you've joined by computer, you should be in the side-by-side -side mode. The slides are on the left and the panelists are on the right in gallery view. You can change the size of your side-by-side -side view by hovering between the two screens and moving the gray bar to adjust to your desired size. Um, if you've joined by mobile device or phone, your view may be slightly different and you may have to scroll between views to get to your desired one. Um, just a quick disclaimer that this is this webinar is being provided for educational purposes only. HLA does not endorse any of the products. Um, we're just providing a service for folks with hearing loss. Um, our presenter today is John Kinsler. He's the Outreach Marketing Manager and Braille, Braille Services Manager for CapTel. Um, John, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the presentation over to you. Awesome. So we're going to close the screen. I welcome everybody. I just need a minute here to spotlight everything I need to do here. Okay. So I'm just setting up the uh, cameras, getting it ready. And I'm going to spotlight myself one second. Awesome. Hello, everybody. I, uh, I'm happy to be presenting today at this wonderful product that we have and its features that we have. This webinar is, is for our current CapTel 2400i users and for people who are interested in CapTel. And we're going to highlight and walk you through the wonderful feature that our customers love about the CapTel 2400i feature called Dial by Picture. What's nice about this is that you can just, instead of having trying to remember numbers and everything, you can just push a button, push a picture on the CapTel display screen, and it would dial that number. You don't have to worry about the numbers or what number you're calling to. You can just touch the picture, and then it would dial that number. It's helpful for people who have um, memory loss issues or um, can't remember their phone numbers or um, have mobility issues that they have a hard time trying to push the buttons on the phone. Um, this way they can just do a one tap touch on the screen and it would dial their number. And the nicest thing about that, they also personalize your phone so you can actually have your family and friends and photos on your, on your display screen. So, so with, I'm going to hide my, um, I'm gonna move your spotlight from me and so you can focus on the, the screen. Well, one place where you can actually, where do we get the picture to put it on your CapTel phone? Well, these pictures can come from your computer, your laptop, your iPad. The CapTel phone itself does not have a built-in camera or have a way where you can actually hook up the 
camera to your phone and take pictures. It doesn't have that capability. We're going to be pulling pictures from the uh, another source, which is like your laptop or your computer. So, and so the cap talk, how it works is, as you can see on the screen, on the left side is the website information, my laptop. And on the right side should be my CapTalk 2400 iPhone. Okay. Now, I have to go to my website, go to this website and enter in, uh, get the information from the website, like pictures and, and do all of that. So the CapTalk syncs with your device over the dedicated website to add photos to your phone. The dedicated website is actually https dot forward slash forward slash then capital M and then small y capital C O N T A C T S dot capital C A P capital T E L dot C O M. And it's also if you hover the mouse right over the um my uh, computer, it will have the, the link right there. So we're going to be pulling pictures from your website, uh, the web, uh, computer, and we need to go into that website in order to enter in all that information. And then we're going to sync it over to the capital phone. The photos can be in JPEG, GIF, or PNG format. OK? So. Getting started, it's really easy, but you just need to go back and forth from your phone to your computer because they're going to integrate and we're going to sync the process. So all the information you have on your computer is going to be transferred over to your phone. And when it, it's, the process is really easy, and then that's why I'm going to show you a few steps of how we can do that. All right. Um, if you have any questions, um, the CapTel display screen will prompt you um, what to do next and everything else. It's really self-explanatory. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to hide, I think I'm hidden. So um, in fact, I'm gonna turn off my video. And that way you can have a full attention to the screen. So this, is my computer and over here is my phone. When I go to the website to mycontacts.capton.com, it opens up the page. So you, here it says, would you like to create a new content list or load a previously saved content list? I haven't saved any, so this is gonna create a new content list. Now I need to give a label to this content list. And that label, I'm gonna just say, office phone, because I may have uh, another phone downstairs, Captel phone downstairs that's for personal use, and, and this office phone is for my business use. So once I'm satisfied with what I label, and that will take me directly to the page. So I just forward. So here, sorry, using your computer, you can add photos, Content this will make it easy to dive by picture on the Capital 2400 eye. The My Content website helps manage the content list on your Capital phone. You can add new contents, phone numbers, add photos, and sync them with the Capital 2400 eye. You can store up to 100 contents. Now, because both the Capital phone and the website need to be in set in sync mode, the sync process is easiest when the computer you are using and the CapTel phone are close together. Now, if in a situation, if the phone and the, the laptop or computer is not close by, it would be helpful to have two people, one by the phone and one by the computer to help sync the process smoothly. So we are already here at the website. Now the website asks, would you like to create a new content list, which I've already done? Enter the name, and then I'm going to go down here on the bottom way right here on the laptop, where it says add content. So I need to enter the name of the first name of a person I want to add. So I'm going to put Jackie, and then the last name, Morgan. And you can use the tab key to, to switch to different 
tabs uh, sections on your computer. Once I'm satisfied with the spelling, I hit save. And there it is, Jackie's list name is right here on the left hand side. Now, I need to add in Jackie's phone number. I'm going to use a cell phone and I enter that right here. And then I'm going to click on save contacts. Okay. Now, you will notice that the screen over here and over here, it's like an empty um, box where you can actually add a photo. So I'm going to go click on add photo in the screen on here. It says the photo must be in JPEG, PNG, or GIF. I click on select photo. And let's see, I, there's a picture of Jackie. And I'm going to click on choose. And then it will take me to um, kind of like a work area where you can actually customize the photo. Right now, the photo is way too big and there's a green bar right here. What's inside this green bar is what's gonna show up on your capital display screen. So I need to customize this photo. And there's kind of a sliding bar in the bottom where I can make it small and make it big. See that green bar? So I need to make sure it fits right in there and I can move the picture into it or I can actually move the green in through the picture. There's different ways you can do it. Which I think is best and comfortable for you. And once I'm satisfied with the placement of the photo, I click on save. And now we got Jackie's picture on here on my the contact list. And I can, there's also an option where you can actually list the person as favorite or as speed dial. I call Jackie a lot, so I want to put her on speed dial. Now she's recognized as uh, being on speed dial. See, it's really simple how to add this in. Now, what if I wanted to add another person? I go through the simple steps again in the bottom left hand corner, add contacts. I'm going to add the name, first name of that person, and that is Liz. And the last name is Potter. And then click Save. And then I'm going to enter in a number, let's say like that. I'm going to click on Save. I'm going to make, oh, I need to add a photo. Let's see. Click on select photo and there is my picture of my sister. And then let me click on choose. And oh, it's way too big. So I, again, I need to scale it down. Set it in, scale it down some more. Once I'm satisfied with the picture and then I hit save. And there she is. And I can put her on an hour, put her on speed dial as well. All right. Now when I'm done, I need to, so both names are there. Now I'm going to, now I need to sync the contacts and that's over here. Now it asks me, do I want to load contacts from phone? or save contacts to my phone. I want to save this information to my phone. Whoops, let me hit the camera. <laughs> there we go. All right, I'm going to save contact to my phone. All right, the, the page advanced on to save contact to capture phone, and I need to enter in the ESN. ESN stands for electronic serial number. But where do I find the ESN? Well, I take the mouse and hover right over here. It says on your capital phone, touch contacts, then touch sync. The display shows your ESN. Okay, so now I'm going to my phone and make sure, okay. Hit contacts, and then it said to touch sync. And then I'm, it's not, I keep, I can sync it from another device, but it's, I'm actually going to be syncing it from online. Oh, here it says your capture phone ESN is 343-G-380-8847. So I, it says here, oh, right down here, it says add new, new ESN. 
and down here is where I put that number. Four, three, four, capital G, three, eight, zero, eight, eight, four, seven. Four, three, four, G, three, eight, four, seven. That is correct. Now, um, because I have two phones in my house and I work, I have an office phone, so I'm going to leave this as ESN as um, office phone. All right, and then click on add. Now, it got the ESN there, but right now it says offline. So that means I need to go over to the Captel phone display screen and click on accept. <laughs> Let's see if it's showing up. Now it said ready for sync. It changed. So down here, I'm going to click, <clears throat> click on start sync. Oh, I was touching my, <laughs> I'm used to a touch screen, so I had to use my mouse. All right, look on the capital display, uh, the screen. It shows the process. It says sync is complete. And it says contacts, I have added two. Got two photos, no favorites, and two speed dials. And over here, it says on your laptop, it says your contacts were successfully sent to the Captel phone. The Captel phone will display a confirmation, confirmation screen when the process is fully completed. So it's really self explanatory. I close that, and there it is, all there. And this will be your worksite whenever you want to add contacts to you, your Captel phone. Now on my Captel display screen, I can hit back. Now let's see what it looks like. Oh wait, let's click on Jackie. Oh, there's Jackie's phone number. She's a, and there's her photo. Let's look at Liz. Liz's photo is there also. Now, let's say I want to go, when you go to your home screen, you can push contacts and then that information will show up and do it that way. Or you can, you can actually pick up the handset and the speed dial numbers will show up on the, on the home page right here. And I want to call Jackie and I don't have to do enter any numbers. I do, all I have to do is touch the screen and I pick up the handset. We're being connected. Phone is ringing. Awesome. So that's how easy we can easily connect with the person without having to dial any buttons or numbers. And I can just touch the screen just that easy. There we go. <laughs> now, the nicest thing is that when we do this, we also can do it where you can sync from your photo, um, your phone. But we didn't do that today, but we have that information. Okay. Oh, I had to get my spotlight in myself. <laughs> One second. Uh, oh, my camera. That's why. All right. Sorry, give me one second here. And we'll take off the little spot. There we go. So we also can, um, I showed you how you can use your laptop to sync to your um, capital phone, but you can also use an iPhone or any uh, your mobile phone to sync photos from there and do it that way. Because a lot of time parents may be at their parents, um, their parents, um, the kids will be at their parents' home. They want to set up everything. They can do it from their phone and do it that way. It's kind of a nice um, way we can actually set up. So let's see. Stop the video and the other ones. There we go. Um, <clears throat> let me just go to wrap up here real quickly. And, and basically, it's really a simple process. It's one of our favorite features that everybody else has and we like to use. Um, 
especially for those who have memory issues or mobility issues and can't push on those buttons. And that's just really a nice feature to have. So we take this time now for any questions anybody have. Um, and I have Melissa take over. And Hi, John. Um, yes, I'm back. So if any, if anyone has any questions, please go ahead and type them into the Q&A box. Um, not seeing any questions yet, but you were very self It was very explanatory. So that that may yeah. be why. So. I covered everything. <laughs> so. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, we also have this video support. Um, the, the user manual is really self-explanatory. And then you go through this page and it tells you what the website information and it's step by step by step how to go on to it and do it. We also, if you go to our website, www.capella.com, there are some support videos as well. If you don't want to read the manual, you can actually watch the video and it'll explain everything in its caption. And, it's and, we have, and we have gotten a couple questions here. The first one is, can you add a picture onto an existing contact? Yes. Uh, yeah, if you already saved like a speed dial and you didn't add any picture or anything, you added any contact, and you open it up and it would pull the information from that um, your capital phone onto the site. And if you had it registered and labeled, you can actually go back and customize it because maybe a person changed its phone number or uh, things like that. So you can always add more photos. Uh, add a photo. You can only have one photo per person. Okay, great. And then um, uh, Jeffrey is asking, can this be done on the CapTel app? Reading the caption here real quick. Asking conditions being done on the CapTel app. Yes, we have Hamilton Mobile CapTel app. And you, so we need to check on that if you can actually do it on the phone. So I would need to check on that and um, we will, uh, if you want to send me an email and I can follow up just to confirm. Okay. Any other questions? Not seeing any. Go oh. to, do you have any questions? Go ahead and put them in the Q and A box. Yeah, I guess everybody's. I informed everybody, so always a good thing. So, okay. Okay. Uh, again, uh, my email is john.kinstler at capital.com. Feel free to email me if you have any questions, or you can call Capital Customer Service, and they have the um, you can do it. Contact the um, email is you know, www. Uh, I'm sorry, capital at capital.com, and you can also um, call Capital Customer Service and. Um, We'd be happy to answer any questions you have. The uh, customer service number is 1-888-269-7477. Great. Thank you so much, John. Thank you for being here and presenting for us. Um, I think it was very useful. And thank you, Karen, our amazing captioner. We appreciate that. Um, as I mentioned at the start of this, um, this webinar was recorded and it will be up on the HLA website. Um, give us a couple of weeks because uh, we have to go in and make sure that the transcript and the captioning and everything is all up and working together, but it will be up there. And thank you so much. Um, hope everyone has a wonderful Tuesday. Yes. Have a great day, everybody. Thanks for Bye joining. Bye-bye. Thank you, Melissa. Thanks.